What's up, guys? This is Dradmaster here. We are back with another episode of Duelist. Uh, we're going to check out... I've got a couple of Songhai quests to do today. So we're going to... I know we played Agromar in our last video, uh, my Magmar deck. We're going to go ahead and play some Songhai. Uh, I've got a little itty-bitty baby backstab deck. Um, it's not great. So sometimes it goes really well and sometimes it goes poorly, which is kind of the case with Songhai anyway, as I understand it. But I'm missing some key stuff to run a true backstab deck. I'm going to hold on to that, but I'll swap the other two. Namely, um, I'm missing juxtaposition, which is really kind of crucial. And it's a lot of spirit, which is the stuff that you use to craft cards. So I haven't had a chance to do that yet. I um, really don't need this. I'm going to swap that out, see if I can draw... Nope, Widowmaker. I want to get... There's, there's a another projectile for the Songhai, which I can't remember. What is the name of that? It's not Widowmaker, it's another ranged attacker. Uh, whatever. Let's see if I get it this turn. Nope. So what we're going to do here is, I really don't feel like dealing with this guy at all. So we're just going to take him right the hell out. I'll have none of your nonsense, sir. Good day. See, this is the thing. I don't really know what the best call is for Songhai. They're a really technical faction. They have a lot of stuff about combos and backstabs and all kinds of cool stuff like that. You've got an Emerald Rejuvenator, so of course you did that. I really want an Inner Focus, so I can drop in one of these two guys. Inner Focus basically resets a minion if it's exhausted. So when minions are summoned, they're automatically exhausted. I'm going to swap that out. I don't need that. Oh, Heartseeker. That was the ranged guy I was looking for. So we am go ahead and move up here. We're going to drop Heartseeker on this space. And then we're going to use Miss Dragon Seal to teleport her over here. And then we're going to drop this guy in for some spacing off that Rejuvenator. And we're going to call it a day. So as far as backstab get decks go, I am missing stuff. I'm missing juxtaposition. Uh, I could use a couple more gore horns. I think I only have one or two in this deck. Uh, I've got one mist walking. I could use a couple more mist walking or silhouette chasers and use mask of shadows to make sure my my uh, 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 general has baz backstab as well. But I mean, it works okay sometimes. Ah, oh, spirit harvester sucks. Oh, I hate that guy. So spirit harvester deals two damage to all of the mains at the end of the turn. So he does damage to every minion on the board, including his own. I'm gonna take that guy out right now. Because I don't feel like... You know what? No, I'm not. I'm gonna put Cyclone Mask on. And I'm gonna use Phoenix Fire on the general. I'm gonna use Range Attack on the general, because that's what Cyclone Mask gives me. And then I'm gonna... Just wait... And I'm going to take some damage this turn. He's going to take that guy out with a Spirit Harvester. But we're going to be able to trigger some combos off this next turn. Hello? Hello? Are you going to do anything? Hello? Flash Reincarnation. Another Emerald Rejuvenator. That's annoying. Another Flash Reincarnation. Alright. I just basically lost this game. I mean, we're going to give the old college try, because why the hell not? But... game is pretty much over. I'm going to take this guy out, because I don't feel like dealing with him. We're going to teleport my general over to here. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oops. So, I should have taken out the egg with the general.
Yeah. 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 Okay, so... I know I said I lost already. Now I really lost because I misplayed the hell out of that. I misplayed that really badly. I'm really bad at this game. I don't know if you're aware of this, but I'm really bad. No, I'm not bad, but... Yeah, no, we're done. We're gonna say we're gonna say well played. Then we're gonna laugh, and then we're gonna bow out like a gentleman. Good day, sir. That was a nice play. Oh, I'm dumb. That was not a good move. <laughs> oh, that's so appropriate. I get the crying emote after that game. Bound to rank 12. Oh, that was awful. That was bad. All right, that's fine. We're going to try that one more time. I only need one more game for my song high quests. Hopefully they go better than that one. This goes better than that one. So there's six factions in this game, if you haven't checked it out yet since viewing my last video. Song high. Versus song high. Jinx. Songhai, Abyssian, Vanar, Magmar, Vitruvian, and Lionar. I hate them all in their own unique, special way. <laughs> Did I really just get rid of those guys and get more of them? <laughs> Did I, is that what I had before? Did I have a Scarlet Viper and a Repulsor Beast before that trade in there? I think that's what I had. Oh, look, an Inner Focus. All right, I just traded you in. Stop coming back. I don't want you anymore. I don't need you till later. Ooh, that's going to be annoying. Am I going to use a Phoenix Fire on that? Yeah. Um, no, I'm just going to go for guaranteed damage on this guy. I'm playing this like my Aggramar deck. It's probably not the best idea. I don't need you. You can go away. Ooh. So I'm getting some options developing here. I've got some spell options. Heaven's Eclipse, draw three... So oh, no. Oh, it's okay. He doesn't have much mana left. What are you going to do? You got one mana. Heartseeker, of course. Alright, you know what? Forget both those guys. I'm going to do it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I could have saved those for other things, but I'm using them for that. Um, I'm going to swap out Killing Edge, because I'm not going to have a chance to use it on anything right now. And I get another Repulsor Beast. The Repulsor Beasts really like me this game. I don't know why. Hit you in the face. And call it a turn. Oh my god! Saber spines. All of my saber spines. So you can have a maximum of three cards of any kind in your deck. I have drawn all of my saber spines at this point. What are you gonna do? You hit me? Do it. Hit me. Come on. Punch me in the face with your shoulder blades. Oh, he's got a full spell deck going here. Oh, he's got a full spell deck going here. All right, this kind of sucks. Mana Vortex. Oh, these guys are going to get really strong really fast. Oh, no. This is a much better built deck, Songhai deck, than mine. So these guys get extra stuff all the time from spells being summoned in. All of a sudden, I'm glad I have this Repulsor Beast because I don't feel like dealing with this guy right now. You're going to go all the way the hell over there. And I summoned him wrong. I summoned him in the wrong spot. I should have dropped him up here, and then I could have buffed him. Or yeah, I could have buffed him. We could have taken out this guy because he's going to turn into more of a threat next turn. Do I have anything? No. Uh, I have two mana. I'm not going to be able to do anything. If I had drawn... There was one guy I could have drawn there and that would have worked out. But I didn't draw him. 
So, we have Inner Focus, we have Gorehorn, we have Scarlet Viper, we can do some things. It's getting real scary though. I don't think I'm running a cleanse in this deck right now, which is bad. Oh my god, this is getting worse and worse. It's getting worse and worse. Okay. What we're going to do. Do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Do this. And this guy's going to come up and smack me in the face for 8 damage in the next turn. If not more. Unless he uses him to take care of the Gorehorn here. Which he might do, but I think he's just going to hit me. Oh, you didn't need to do that. Don't be a jerk. That was not necessary. So, that's why I don't play Songhai at the level I'm at right now. Because I find that at rank 12, I have not put enough spirit or time into my Songhai deck to be good at it. The only things that I'll play at this level and feel confident winning are my Agrimar deck, um, my Death Squad, and my Rampant Death. So these two are Abyssian decks. We'll see one of those next. Um, let's go with Death Squad. I haven't played Death Squad in a while. So Death Squad is based around summoning a whole bunch of little minions and making them lemming themselves into the opposing force making guys like Shadow Watcher stronger. They, he gets plus one, plus one every time something dies. My guy, their guy, anything. Uh, so, but I don't actually think I want him on the first turn. I don't want them either. Actually, he's not bad. Okay, so we're going to swap out Shadow Dancer. Shadow Dancer is awesome, but actually, no, I'm going to hang on to her. I can use her in two turns. Yep, good luck, have fun. Good manners. Gonna drop that in. Gonna drop that. We're gonna end the turn. So I just attach an artifact to my general. It's Horn of the Forsaken. Whenever my general damages an enemy minion or general, it summons a Wraithling and a random nearby space. So Wraithlings are basically what this deck is built around. They're the engine that powers it. So he's gonna walk up here. Who's he gonna hit? Me or him? Me or him? Me or him? Come on, come on, come on. Pick one. Pick one. Who are you gonna do it? Who's it gonna be? Oh, he's going to dispel him? Really? You care that much? Oh, you may think I'm running a creep deck, I guess. So he's going to drop Shadow Creep on his spot when he dies, unless he's dispelled, which is what just happened to him. So if I was running... Ooh. That's a pain in the ass. Another horn. I'm going to hang on to Dark Transformation, I think, to take care of this guy if I need to on the next turn. Or two. In the meantime, we're just going to hit him. Because it's free Wraithlings. You're going to hang on to both of those. Oh, now I've got two Dark Transformations. That's a little unnecessary. So he gets a 1 and 7. You going to summon any more dudes? Come on. Sometimes I get really bored with how long turns take in this game. Like, not that I think the turn's timer is too long, because towards the end of the game, 90 seconds sometimes feels too short for the stuff you're trying to do. But I think people spend too long thinking sometimes. Ray thinks. I think people spend too long thinking sometimes, and it just kind of annoys me. I wish there was some sort of, like, chess timer interface where, like, you know, you go ahead and hit a button and stop as soon as your turn is up, and then you gain, like, bonuses on, like, whatever time you've got left or something. I don't know. I floated that on the, uh subreddit for this game once nobody was a big fan of the idea so <laughs> maybe I'm looking for the wrong thing in this game so what are you gonna do buddy are you gonna hit me with that guy or is he just gonna sit there looking scary I mean I'm gonna have five mana next turn so I could dark transformation him See, this is what I'm talking about. It's taking so long. It just bores the poop out of me. 
Yeah, we're gonna just get rid of him. And then... We're gonna get rid of that dervish too. No, nah, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna sacrifice a little health for hopefully having a few more minions live at the end of next turn. He might try and wipe all my guys out. Bone Swarm. Oh, that's a pain in the ass. Alright, we're gonna do this, because I don't think this game's gonna go well for me. So Vitruvian is all about board control. He's got way the hell more tempo ahead of me right now. Um, I'm gonna go back and rewatch this later, actually, because... I think I could have played better at different points. I think holding on to this Shadow Dancer might not have been the best idea. If I had pulled a Wraithling Swarm, I could have potentially dealt with things a little better. Or if I... I think I have a couple of Dispels. I think I have an Ephemeral Shroud in this deck, too, so I could have dispelled that guy that he summoned out that just killed all my minions. Oh, my God. Third Wish. So this sucks. Well played. So Vitruvian, see, remember how I said I hate all factions equally? Every faction has its own type of bullshit that they can pull at some point that just drives you nuts and takes you from, like, full health to zero. And we just saw the Vitruvian version of that, where he had enough minions out that he pulled, uh, he pulled a big buff and made them all strong, and they came down and killed the shit out of me. We're going to try Death Squad again, because that was not really representative of the power of that deck. Ah, oh, another Vitruvian. <laughs> so any one of these guys right here would have made the last game a lot easier. And now I pulled all three of them. So I'm going to go ahead and ditch two of them, because I really don't need three right now. But that's just silly. That was exactly what I was looking for last game, that I should have been drawing for if I had been smart. Um, I'm not going to get that right now. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Alright. I'm just going to pull him up here. I'm going to hit him in the face. I'm not summoning these guys, because I don't want to waste their dispel. Like... I know I should be contesting that Mana Spring, technically, but it's not going to do me any good if I summon two of my three Dispels, like, in the first turn of the game. Seriously, though. Just not getting great draws. Okay, so Blood Moon Priestess. So this chick right here is part of the engine that powers this, this deck. And on the next turn, we're going to hopefully show that a little bit. Assuming he doesn't dispel her or kill her somehow. Let's go, dude. Come on. You know what I have to do? I, have to, I haven't played with this deck in a bit. We're going to go out of here and go play with the deck after this. Because I'm going to take these Shadow Watchers out of here. I honestly don't use them that much. I don't think they're that great. Boom. What are you going to do? Plus one, plus one? That's annoying. Okay, well that's fine though. Alright, so what we're going to do here, we're going to walk this guy down here. So this is going to happen. I'm going to kill him and two minions are going to drop in from the Blood Moon Priestess. I'm going to move her over here. I'm going to walk this guy over here. And another two minions. Ba-boom. Ba-boom. And now... We're going to go ahead and... Swap this guy out. What do we get for it? I've still got five mana left. So here's what I could do. Alright. I can move down here. I could drop in the Deep Fire Devourer. And he would gain a plus 2 for this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. So it would be a plus 10, plus 10 for his health. However, 
Vitruvian has a kill minion next to general card that just straight up murders one thing in one shot. Whatever. It's just a mana cost. That's it. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to play my Shadow Watcher and attempt to try and draw that card out because next turn, if I attack all the, uh, the general with all these guys, it's going to give my, gen my Death Watcher plus one plus one, my Shadow Watcher plus one plus one. And maybe I'll draw that. Oh, he's going to run away. He doesn't have that card right now. Or he's choosing not to play it. There's another Pyromancer. I'm going to take him out with Demonic Lure. Alright. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go in here. I'm going to save that mana for next turn. I should be able to block it off here. And what we're going to do is we're going to lasso this one. We're going to cleanse this one. We're going to move her up. We're going to move him up. We're going to put this guy back in the corner. And then we're just going to pound this guy's face in a bit. Alright, so... And summon one more Wraithling. So I'm going totally hand with my general right here. I may regret that. He might pull some nonsense this turn. It's going to make me really regret that. I doubt he's got a way of bursting me down from 12. But we'll see. I don't think that was a great idea, bro. Okay. So we're going to take my general out of harm's way. We're going to take my priest is out of harm's way. We're going to swap that out because who needs that? Um, we're going to take this guy over here. Take this guy over here. Drop that. And I'm going to drop a deep fire devourer. Woo! So he killed all those guys. The Priestess was down here, so she didn't take any damage from him. Now he's plus 18, this guy's plus 15. we got a whole lot more of these guys around here. I wish they were closer, because I could do more damage to them then. Uh, damage on the General. He might take me out with that wrench right next turn, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the General. Dark Transformation. I've got two of those. Scion's Second Wish. What are you going to do? What do you got? You going to fly over there and take out my range projectile with that wind strike? I'm not really sure. Oh, see, there it is. There's that destroy minion thing that I was telling you about. That's it. That's that ability right there. All right. So I'm going to move her, move her, move him. Oh, I should have swapped out first. That's okay. And I'm making rookie mistakes here. So I could have dropped in the Shadow Watcher before all that happened. And that would have been really nice. Because he would have gotten plus ones for all those deaths. But I didn't. Because I didn't think about it. Because sometimes I'm bad at planning ahead. And that's okay. Are you gonna? Oh, he's going to Repulsor Beast that guy. That guy you know what? I'm going to win this game. And that big scary Deep Fire Devourer isn't going to do any damage to anyone. That's what's going to happen here. And there's another wind trick. Alright. 
Let's see, what can we do here? I'm not going to use Horn of the Forsaken anymore because there's no need to. I don't want to put myself in harm's way for any reason. Uh, we're going to do... So I want to protect my general from that Windshrike. So we're going to form a defensive perimeter. And then we're going to drop in this guy. Make him contend with it. Gonna heal the general. Gonna drop planar scout in here. Pen him in so he can't go anywhere. Come up here. Do some damage. Do some more damage. Do some more damage. Walk this guy forward because I can. And call it a turn. So, what are you going to do, big guy? Going to summon a charger. Okay. Gain plus two attack. Draw two cards. Move away. Go. Plus one, plus one. Okay, I was going to say, I'm surprised this guy is not conceding. He's dead next turn, basically, no matter what he does. He was dead like five turns ago, but... Alright. So that's a lot more of the power of that deck, and I didn't even draw my Shadow Watchers. I have three Shadow Watchers. Shadow Watchers have... the uh, Not Shadow Watchers. Well, using the wrong ones. Blood Moon Priestess, is that it? I'm never good to remember the names of these cards. Let's see. Where is... Here we go, Shadow Dancer. So Shadow Dancer deals one damage to the enemy general and restores one health to me every single time something dies. If I had summoned her, like four turns earlier, that game would have been already over. Um, so we're going to actually I'm gonna show you the deck building situation in this game here. Uh, because I want to swap out for my death squad. We are going to get rid of my Shadow Watchers. Because when I built this deck, that was all I had. We're going to get Night Sorrow Assassins instead. And... Let's see. What else? I want to I want to drop in... Soul Shattered Pact. So I'm going to drop out something for... I'm going to get rid of Soul Grimoire, because I never really used that. Um... Do I get rid of defi No, I'm going to get rid of Planar Scout, I think. I'm going to get rid of one of them. And get rid of a Healing Mystic. And we're going to put in three Soul Shatter Packs to make scary. Plus two, uh, plus whatever, what is it? Plus two attack for all of my minions. So, like, imagine, like, last game where I had tons of Wraithlings... And I use Soul Shatter Pact, all of a sudden they all had three attack instead of one. That's a lot of damage. Cool. Let's do another one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll do one more. This will be a longer episode. That's fine. So we'll do one more Death Squad. We'll see how it goes with those changes that I made there. If we'll even see them in play. Who knows? Maybe I won't like them. Maybe I'll miss the stuff that I swapped out. So... As far as the game goes, I put in most time with Magmar and Abyssian. A little bit of time with Songhai. Why do I keep getting Shadow Dancer so early in the game? Um, there's another Shadow Dancer. You know what? What's going to happen is I'm going to mulligan this one. And then I'm going to want her like four turns from now. And she's just not going to be there for me. You're never there for me, Shadow Dancer. Why are you never there for me? So we're going to swap her out. Go up here. Saber Spine. And I'm not going to go aggro with him. I'm going to hold him. There's a Soul Shatter, soul shatter Pact already. Oh, he's going to take damage from him anyway, because apparently he wants to. So, we're going to go ahead and use that. And hit that. And do that. 
and ooh, Ray thinks for him. Okay, that's good. These soul shatters might come in handy if I can manage to get a decent mass of minions going. If he lets me, you gonna let me? Marika Hase, Marika Hayes, Marika Hayes, Marika Hayes. Do you get a lot of golems, bro? That's actually kind of annoying. I don't like beefy enemies. They hurt. It. So we're gonna go ahead and summon in some ray things. And uh don't need two of these. We're gonna swap that out. Ooh, Veil Hunter. I'm gonna drop that. I'm gonna walk this guy down here. And I'm not gonna attack anything because I'm hoping next turn enough of those guys survive that I can drop in Soul Shutter Pact and do a boatload of damage. What are you gonna do? Walk up? <coughs> so you gonna drop a rushman in to try and take out the Veil Hunter? Is that what you're gonna do there? Is that your plan? Is that your plan of attack? You're just gonna walk him here at me. Okay. All right. You, oh. That's why you were doing all of that nonsense. Well played. What are you talking about? I played that horribly. You're crazy. Were you giving yourself a pat on the back or something? It's a little cocky there, bro. You might win, but you're still a dick. I'm gonna punch you in the face of the tiger. You feel the tiger's fury? Yeah, you eat that. Eat that! What are you gonna do? You hit me again? God, this guy's annoying. You're so annoying! Why are you so annoying? Ugh, you're so annoying. Why are you so annoying? Alright, whatever. I'm gonna cleanse you. We're gonna walk over here. What have I got left? I got five mana left. Okay. And yeah, we'll hit that guy. Might lose this on this turn. I am so tired of that guy. Oh my god, I am so tired of this guy. Oh, I'm so tired of this guy. See, this is, remember how last episode I told you people don't like Magmar? That's because Magmar is full of bullshit like this. You ain't getting to me, bro. Man, that guy was... Why you friend me? Hello? Hello? <laughs> I don't know why this guy friended me. Um... Hello? Alright, well, that's where we're going to end this episode, I think. And if this guy ever gets back to me, I'll let you know in the next episode what he says. I don't know. Whatever! So, as usual, if you like the video, please like and subscribe below. 
Uh, we got more duelists coming down the pike in the future, uh, as well as probably some Fallout, although by the time you see this, I might have already uploaded the first Fallout episode anyway, I'm not sure. So, yeah, as always, remember to live boldly, change the world, and continue to be awesome. Oh, here we go. Oh, I add over one despite I lose or win just for fun. Alrighty. Well, that's that. Okay, so I'll see you later. Bye-bye.